Hi, I'm Jenna Lane, your Bucks insider for SportsTalkFlorida.com. Exactly one week from today, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have their first training camp practice, which means we've got to get the ball rolling on a number of these position breakdowns to make sure that we're all prepped and ready for camp. Now, I asked you guys earlier this week, what position group do you want to hear about next? And you told me the offensive line. So here it goes. Carl Nix is my biggest concern heading into this training camp, not just along the offensive line, but really the entire camp. You saw the injury that he had and everything that he went through with the MRSA. And then at minicamp, well, he didn't do much of anything. Aside from a few little drills here and there, he mostly just stood on the sideline. I talked to him after practice and he told me he hadn't started running yet, but he was doing some light jogging on the elliptical machine. So no weight bearing activity up until this point. So it's going to be really interesting to see what kind of shape he shows up to camp in. It'll tell you where his overall health is at. The one thing I'm concerned about with him, even if he is able to make it back, with that type of position at the level that he played at last year, I think it's going to be very difficult for him to have the kind of stamina, at least if his reps are limited, have the kind of stamina that he needs to get out there and, and be the type of guard that gets to the second level. Aside from Carl Nix, you've got Kadeem Edwards at that left guard position. He's a rookie and he played at Tennessee State. And no knock against people that play at smaller schools, but I've talked to a number of coaches who have told me making that jump, not playing D1 football and making that jump to the NFL, it's a tougher task than most in transitioning to the NFL. At right guard, you have Patrick Omame. Crazy story with him. He was plucked off the 49ers practice squad last year, and this year, if it was all said and done right now, he would be your starting right guard. Now, we were cautioned by the coaching staff that you can only take things for what they're worth right now. The guys still haven't put on their pads, so a number of things could change. But Lovey Smith said for him to be starting out there when he did during minicamp, it shows us what they think of him. After those guys, you've got O'Neal Cousins, seven-year veteran, played in Cleveland under offensive line coach George Warhop. He's not so much of a starter, but he does bring some quality depth there, and he's versatile as well. That's going to be huge. Along with Jamon Meredith, he garnered some starts last year. He's also versatile too, so those guys should certainly improve depth. Moving to center, Evan Dietrich Smith. I don't think there's any question there. He's going to be your starting center. Already starting to develop a very strong relationship with Josh McCown. I expect that to blossom. Very intelligent guy. He did a tremendous job for the Packers, and he also has the ability to play guard, too, although they're not going to be needing that type of versatility. But again, he's going to be your starting center unless some catastrophe happens, which hopefully it doesn't. Moving to your tackles, Anthony Collins. He was a backup tackle last year in Cincinnati until there was an injury, found his way into a starting role. An interesting tidbit about him, hasn't allowed a sack since 2009. He's going to have to show that he's capable of playing every single down, though, and not just a backup role. After all, they did sign him to a five-year deal worth $30 million, so that's quite the hefty paycheck. On the other side, DeMar Dotson. I don't think there's any question there that he's going to be your starting right tackle. In fact, Lovey Smith said when he first got to the team, he thought Dotson played the best of any of the Bucks' offensive linemen last year. Crazy to believe because I know last year in training camp, a number of people questioned whether or not he'd be able to hold on to that job due to his lack of experience. As far as backup offensive tackles, I think Kevin Panfield's going to be the guy. They'll see if he can, in fact, back up both Collins and Dotson and be that swing tackle. Other guys to keep an eye out for, Matt Patchen, an offensive tackle out of Florida, or actually out of Boston College. He followed Steve Adazio from the Gators up to B.C. I'd also keep an eye out for Jace Daniels, who was on the practice squad last year. We'll see how he's progressed. Stay tuned for more Bucks training camp previews. It'll be here before you know it. And you can also be sure that SportstalkFlorida.com will have you covered throughout the duration of camp. With Sports Talk Florida, I'm Jenna Lane.